Hi everyone, this is Lorraine. Welcome back. It's a Wednesday, so I'm here an extra day this week. I should have a video up on Friday again because that is the goal. Uh, but I also said on Friday that I'd probably have a video up before the next Friday, so here I am. I'm hoping that the quality of this video ends up being a little bit better. Um, I noticed I had a couple comments that said the quality was bad. Um, and I'm not really sure, uh, but I think, so let's hope this is the case, when I've been uploading the videos or exporting the videos from Final Cut Pro where I edit them and just like clip them together, I'm not like an editing pro, obviously, <laughs> but I just chose to go the route of exporting it in a um, file that they were like videos specifically that were going to go on YouTube. And I think it said YouTube and Facebook probably. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm gonna try a different approach. So if it looks better, let me know. If it didn't bother you, let me know. If it really bothers you, let me know. But I'm trying um, and I appreciate you watching uh, and uh, letting me know uh, so that I can try to improve it. Um, if not, maybe I need to upgrade my camera, but I probably won't do that yet. So after I did my, first haul video of the year. Here's paper, here's notes of what's inside. Um, I had a comment, I had a comment on there that said, I think you would like the Dior backstage in the cool neutrals. And I was like, you're probably so right because I've had it sitting there, but I couldn't decide. I do like the Dior backstage palette that I own. It just doesn't have all the colors that I need in it. Head and ordered that. And so this is the whole reason for this order. Because I told you, I'm like eyeshadow. I need eyeshadow. And now I think I have probably a little bit too much eyeshadow. Um, like I mentioned before, I had gone into Sephora store and I tried to like look at ones. Like there were specific ones that I wanted to see in person. Um, and I didn't like them in person, specifically the makeup by Mario, so I apologize. But I, a lot of times when like beauty people come out with their makeup, it's not always terrible, but I don't know. It's just not the quality I'm looking for. So that being said, I got this. I don't like that they put these um, primers in there. Maybe I should try it and maybe I should decide really if it's bad or good, but um, this is the colorway. I hope I really like it. Nice. It is pretty nice. Um, it is nice looking. Sometimes what I used to find with Dior eyeshadows though is you'd get the little like one that's a little quad. I, <laughs> not a quad because it had five, but it had like the four and then the color in the middle. And I had found that they all kind of like blended together and looked like the same color. And that was my thing with Dior. And I'm hoping this isn't the case with this little fresh little guy. I'm pretty happy with how he looks. Next item that I decided to pick up as I was ordering was this Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin. Okay. Science and Color Beautiful Skin Sun Kissed Glow Bronzer. Smoothing, healthy looking glow cream bronzer for face and body. Didn't even know it was for the body too. Um, oh, it has vitamin D. Um, but I liked the idea of this because it kind of reminded me of the Chanel's that were so popular back in the day, um, where it's like a color. Let's see. Ooh, look at that. Did I get a shade? Yes, I got number two medium. Look at that. Let me put it on the back of my hand. I feel like that could be kind of good. I don't know. It looks like, and it's dark enough for my skin. Sometimes these are not dark enough for my skin and my skin's not that dark. And since I was talking about all those cheek colors that I really liked that were kind of like more of a, um, um, those cheek colors that I like that are, um, not powder, they're like cream based, cream based powders. I, you know, was really kind of digging all of that. So I ended up getting the Rare Beauty Soft Pinch Blush liquid matte cheek color in bliss let's see how it looks ah. okay so i got that boom 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 i've tapped a couple little taps on it it's kind of very uh i live in florida so we're you know 
it's cold today, but it's sunny all the time. So I got those, but I also saw this brush by Rare Beauty. It's a, a soft pinch brush for blush. <laughs> um, I don't know if it's gonna be great or not. Ugh, gosh, Ugh, it's in a packaging that's like intense. Come out, come out. I don't wanna ruin you, but please come out. There we go. Looks like that. And then I thought like you tap it in. And I thought it would be good for the bronzer too. So I just kind of like tapped it into the skin. I'm all, I'm like a finger person. Like I like to tap things in with my finger. Um, but at the same time, I don't like getting dirty. <laughs> so I don't know. I thought that kind of sounds good. Um, and it, I like how dense that is. It's not overly dense, but um, I felt like good about it. I felt good about the whole situation. So I'm just kind of pushing it into the skin, seeing what happens if I just keep going. Pretty nice. I did both the bronzer and the um, kind of blend it out. Fancy. Fancy. I'm just tapping. I like tapping, bouncing away. And I've always kind of wanted to try these little like eye pads that people get that you see on people. I'm like, I don't know if it really works or not. So I'll let you know on Friday because I'll try it out probably tonight or um, the night, the prior to what, I don't know. But I got a pack of these Beauty Up Bio Bright Eyes. They are depuffing and brightening eye gels. Would you use these in the morning or would you use them at night? Let me know. Um, but they're all individually packaged in here. There is There are 15 pairs in here, so I can do 15 days, I don't know. Um, apply to clean, dry skin and allow ingredients to sit for 15, 10 minutes. May also be used for nose to mouth lines. Those ones right there. I don't know. I've always, I've always been interested, and so I ended up getting these ones because why not? And then lastly, I just used some of my points, and I got the Herbivore in Aquarius, which is a pore purifying clair clarity cream. That sounds marvelous. And then I got this August. Augustinus Bader. Ooh, I probably just but butchered that. It's the cream. Some kind of hydrating cream, but I don't know. I'll try that too. I, that's just my quick little haul. This is kind of just a quick little video. Um, I think it's quick, hopefully. <laughs> um, I just want to see how the quality was. I would like you to know. let me know down below. Um, and I think on Friday I'll probably talk about my goals for my fitness journey because um, got to make that happen. It's just, it's time. It's time. I've been talking about it. It's time to start actually doing something about it. Um, but when it's cold, like, I don't know how we are not that cold. Like if I walk outside right now, it's really not that cold because we have this nice sun and it like heats you up and it's amazing. So I should be outside right now, which I probably will be right after this. Um, but, uh, it's when it's cold, I just can't function. So, um, I would probably like want to just hibernate and sit in my bed and eat all day because uh, I just hate the cold. I hate it so much. Um, yeah, I just, I like to be warm. If you have any questions, feel free to post them below, any suggestions, uh, but I will see you on Friday with a video. So if, yeah, if you have questions about fitness, I'll show you my body, show me where my beginning is and where we're going to get to the goal because, um, time it's time it's about time and then maybe um some of you might be on a fitness journey with me i'm gonna get back into my fruititarian days because they make me feel the best uh, i know some of you like that i don't know i don't know if i could do like only fruit but i could <laughs> but i could <laughs> maybe some nuts i don't know it's probably not the healthiest but we shall see all right goodbye